Hey art folks, it's Shade, and today I want to talk to you about my experience with gouache palettes and what I currently think is the best gouache palette. I'll be showing you all of my palettes and doing a day-by-day -day test to see which palette keeps the paint moist the longest. So my first squash palette was the Mugello Fusion 18 Well Palette. I got this because it was labeled as airtight and it was a really great first palette for gouache. It comes with a little tray that comes out so you end up with two smaller mixing areas and two bigger mixing areas which is really cool. Normally I only have my Zorn palette in this now, but I was also using the mixing areas for another project. Then I got as a present the Magello Fusion 33 Well palette, which is humongous. Actually, I totally forgot how much mixing space I have in this, and I'm definitely going to be using that now. It has 33 wells that come out, space underneath that, and another pan that comes out, which is madness. But I wanted to mix some colors together because I did not want to buy new colors, but I really wanted to play around with some pastel colors. So I got these super cheap modular palettes from Gerstecker, and I realized that they keep your paints moist really long. And they're also great because you can mix up large amounts of paint and you don't have to worry about cracking or anything like that because they're in cubes instead of in little wells. And it's also cool because you can put them together in any kind of combination that you want so you can make a ginormous gouache palette if you really wanted to. The Gerstecker Modular Palette, it's a little difficult to put together if you have some hand problems. So building on that, I got the Bianyo Airtight Palette. I think this comes under several different brands, but this is the one that I got because it's the one with the silicone on top and that keeps everything really nice and tight. It's pretty small for the 24 wells, but it's really great for plain air painting or if you just don't have a lot of space. The Bianio palette can be a little difficult to open and close if you have some problems and the plastic feels pretty flimsy, so I'm a little worried about it breaking, but it hasn't broken on me yet. And here is the box. Day one, I just set it up with an artist grade paint on the left, the Hordam from Schwinka, and on the right, a student grade paint. That's the Lunel Fine from Le Franc and Bourgeois. Also just wanted to show you that you can even just put straight up water in here and it will not transfer to the other squares, which is really great. So I did that also with the 33 well palette. I mixed all of these with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to prevent mold. I did not add honey or glycerin to any of these paints. And the Gerstecker modular palette, I only had one space left, so I only used the artist grade paint. Day two. So. Don't know if you can see that, but it's still looking pretty moist. I have to check it with a brush to be sure. Yeah, it's totally moist. Cool. Oh, actually, does it have a little skin on it? No, it's just moist. Day two. These actually, to me, they already look like they're starting to dry out. Let's see. Uh, they have a skin on them already, day two. So, so much for air tightness. We'll see how long it takes for them to dry up. Day two. Okay. So, still totally wet. 
both. All right, so, so far the Sky Palettes are winning. Just day two. Okay, day three. So last time these had a skin, oh my gosh. Yeah. 100% dry. Done. Three days. That's it. Both the student grade and the artist grade. Okay then. So the Magello palette is already out of the running. How's this looking? It looks... It looks like a... Nice... Texture. Let's see. Still moist. For sure. Awesome. Okay, so day three. This was moist yesterday. Let's see if it's moist. It. Looking pretty moist. Looking pretty nice and set, I think. 100% moist. Definitely. Check the other one. Yep. Totally moist. Nice. So here's day four. Doesn't look totally dry yet. Let's see. Totally liquid. Okay, time for day four with this powder. I'm looking pretty good still. Totally liquid. This one, it's still totally liquid. This is a student grade. But I feel like I can feel it wanting to set up. I think it's because it's got like that jelly like nature in it but it's totally liquid well that's probably has more to do with it being a student grade day five i bet this is gonna be fine hmm it's basically fine but i feel like you can start to see signs of um a skin forming but i think it's fine yep but, so are we going to last the whole week? That's crazy. So, day six. What will we find? That's looking pretty dry. I don't know. It's definitely got a skin on it, but not too thick of a skin. Still got paint. So we're still all right. Day six, I missed day five, unfortunately. The artist grade one still looks pretty creamy, but I feel like the student grade one is, looks like it's starting to dry out. Let's see. Yeah, artist grade one is still just like when it was poured. Student grade is kind of chunky, has resistance. And has a little bit of sand, but doesn't matter because that's still wet. Doing pretty good. Okay, guys, this is the last day that we're checking this. It's day eight. After this, I'm going to start using it because I just want to use my palette. So, artist grade side, still wet. Student grade side, kind of hard, but also still wet. So that's over a week, guys. I really don't know what more you want. I'll start using this and see how long they keep moist. This is pretty awesome. Day eight. Hmm. It looks really weird. It's got like all these 
air holes in it. I was a little worried it was mold, but no, that's definitely air. Okay. Uh, it's moist, but it's getting hard finally. Mmm, I kind of have to poke a bit because there's a pretty hard, I'm going to try again. It seems like there's a pretty sturdy skin on it, but it's still moist. So, I think the other one is just a bit better so far, but considering that it's just a little rubber gasket on top, but they're individual well, so that's part of what helps. Uh, this is a really great at-home palette. Like if I wanted to have an at-home gouache palette, this would be it. And if I wanted a travel gouache palette, this would be it. In the end, I really love the Bionio palette, but I have to tell you, you have to be careful about mold. After this test, I actually realized that it will stay moist for weeks maybe even a month if you leave it alone. But depending on which paints that you use, you might end up with a mold problem if you leave it alone that long, even if you do use hydrogen peroxide. One paint that always gave me problems is the Emgram Raw Sienna, which no matter what I did caused mold. And then once that molded, it got on everything else. So I don't know what to do about that. I think the Emgram paints may use a little less fungicide than other paints which is nice if you are sensitive to fungicides, but not so great if you want to keep them for a really long time in a palette like this. I think if you have a palette like this, you should definitely make sure that you're using your gouache regularly, at least every week to two weeks. If you don't want to use hydrogen peroxide, I have heard that some people do well by adding some alcohol, and I've heard some people consider using essential oils, but I've never tried that myself. So I hope that this was useful. I remember really being confused about what gouache palette to use when I started out and I'm in a pretty happy place with my gouache palettes now. Let me know if you have any other palettes that you would recommend for using with gouache or any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Thank you to my Patreons. You know that April was an interesting month. Let's see how this next month goes. See you guys next time. And until then, be gentle with yourself. Bye.